Hi, and welcome to another five minute manners makeover with the Walk in Sync Humane Dog Walking and Training System. We're speaking with Aspen Animal Shelter Director Seth Saxon today, and we are going to work with Gus and see how Gus does with a five minute manners makeover. So, Seth, what's Gus's deal? Hey, well, Gus is awesome. I um, was at a dog sled race in Winter Park, Colorado. And the gentleman who I, one of the guys I was racing against, we were talking about all our dogs, and he has Siberian Huskies, and he told me, hey, I, I did get into an Alaskan Husky that, had, you know, it's a mixture of hound and Husky rather than a straight Siberian Husky, and he said, but you know what? He's too strong for my team of Siberians, and he's actually a nice dog, but I'm having trouble keeping him on the trail, and he's just all over the place, and um, which I've learned He's so sweet, but it transfers to when he's on a leash or whether he's pulling a sled. Um, if he sees a squirrel, he'll pull the whole, he pull this guy's whole team off the trail, as he will do when you're walking him on the leash. I said to him, um, he didn't know if he was going to have to, you know, euthanize him. He couldn't find him a home, and um, I said, well, hey, come, let's go dog sledding in Aspen, Colorado, where I am, and we'll have fun for the day, and then you can leave Gus with me, and I'll find him a home. And he left Gus with me. Gus turned out to be an even better dog than I think he even knew. And other than pulling a teeny bit, this is a great dog because he's affectionate, we trust him with other dogs, we trust him with children. He's just awesome and I really think, you know, it, other than not walking perfectly on a leash, I couldn't even tell you any other flaws. Okay. Well, can we see what Gus does and how he walks on the leash? Sure. I'd love to. Okay. You're absolutely right. Gus seems like a fantastic dog, yeah. but he definitely pulls, and he's got to have, you know, a strong enough owner for yeah. him not to pull. Or we can try the five-minute makeover, and let's see what happens. That if would, we can get him to stop pulling. It would be great because I, I, I have to tell you honestly, I feel bad reprimanding him for pulling because he is an Alaskan Husky. He was created from generations and generations to have that instinct to pull, right. and so. To stop him from pulling, I feel like I'm contradicting nature and breeding, and, and I feel like inside he might be saying, but you created me to pull. That's that's what my mom was created to do. That's what my father was created to do. And I, I really think it confuses a dog. So I would love if some gentle way that if there's- but he actually trains himself. You don't have to train him. He can train I'd himself. I'd love it, because I, to to I don't want him to think he did anything wrong. I want him to stop pulling. But he's such a good dog, I do not want to reprimand him because he's okay. really not doing anything wrong. Good. He's All doing right. something wrong in our world. And not you in his know world. our world is a little more screwed up than their world, so. <laughs> So how did that go? I love it, because as I said earlier, I don't want to reprimand this dog. He is wonderful. Oh my god. And so it's neat, because we're gently teaching him to chill out, stop pulling, but I'm not telling him, hey, you're doing anything wrong. I'm simply showing him the way. I'm the leader, but I don't think I bruised his ego. 
or you know or hurt a sensitive dog and so he's going to be even better behaved without ever knowing that he was doing something wrong pretty impressive so would you say he passed the five minute manners makeover oh i think he definitely passed thank you for joining us for another five minute manners makeover with the walk in sync dog walking and training system Bye.